Oh snap, fellas, we made it. This is my hotel room. It's pretty solid. Just got one bed. What's our view look like? What's our view look like? Oh, nice. It's an open view. Is that a blimp? There is a Goodyear blimp all the way over there. I actually just had to dump all my belongings. We've gotta, we've gotta run. It's time to get ready for this show. It's gonna be an amazing time, and I gotta check in my koi fish. We shipped it all the way here to California along with myself. Let's go. Check this out. I can't walk by this, of course. They've got a pond inside the lobby of the hotel I'm staying at, and there is some koi inside of it. Beautiful, beautiful fish. What are the chances of that? We're just having to be chilling right there. This is the whip for the weekend. It's pretty solid. Nice little forerunner action. Never can go wrong with a good old Toyota. You hear that naturally aspirated V8 engine right there? That's gonna get us to these koi fish a heck of a lot faster. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We are here. We're here. This morning we flew all the way to California. Solo in it. I got no no buddies with me this time. Nothing. Just just me. Just me and uh gloomy skies in LA. Feel right at home. Definitely not. I live on a farm. Specifically for one reason. And we're heading exactly where we need to go to show you that reason. Look at that. They've got a bunch of koi fish everywhere. It's crazy. They had a long way here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fish. <laughs> Oh yeah, Casey, show them muscles. <laughs> so today is obviously not the show day. That is tomorrow and the following day. That's the day we're gonna be competing. Now today is the day everyone's just unloading fish. We've got this entire tent here, this entire thing, aquamate all of our koi fish throughout this entire thing. Oh yeah. Look at these fish, it's crazy. They had a long trip. Now obviously you all remember Casey from Next Day Koi. We went out to his place and checked out the entire farm. That was a video I did how many years ago now? Oh man, that was a lot of years. We've known each other for a long time. Yeah, like eight years. It was when I first started YouTube and the video did really, really good. It was one of my biggest videos to really kickstart my entire channel. We've been close ever since and uh, now look where we are. We're here, another koi fish event, similar thing. Obviously, I have a big audience that loves koi fish. You guys are really gonna enjoy this and it's my first time ever competing myself in anything like this, ever, ever. So, it's gonna be very interesting. Like I mentioned though, today is just strictly moving all these different species of koi fish fish all of them into different tubs we have one tub two tub three tub four tub five tub six tub and then over here <laughs> check this out oh yeah that is a beaut this right here is our tub right here for the competition number nine someone's gonna get number one hopefully it's me we'll see but i wanted to be a part of it i really wanted to be a part of it so what i did was i reached out to blue ridge koi my friend casey you just met i looked thoroughly through a lot of different koi fish right here is all the different fish we'll be competing with i'm gonna be slaughtering everyone out here casey <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take some w's these are all my baby mamas right here so before the event obviously i went and uh did a lot of picking and choosing here i purchased five different fish to compete with the five fish I haven't shown you a single bit of. No one even on the internet knows that I've got these koi fish. So it's a surprise for not only people here, but you watching as well. And honestly myself, because these are just so beautiful and I'm finally getting to really see them in person. They're straight from Israel. So I'm excited. I'm very, very stoked. Five beautiful fish. And we'll go over in detail what each of them look like. And of course, what kind of koi fish they are here in just a little bit. But you can see the Jinrin Platinum. That one's sitting right here in front of me right now. Oh yeah. More details on this butte later. I just had to tease you a little bit. That's my fish right there. I'm stoked. Check this out. One after another, just popping them open. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yamabuki. That is a beautiful koi right there. That is the very first one we've unbagged. Let me show you. Wow. What, what can you get coming in the morning? My number one competitor. That's literally one of four. So we still gotta unbag four of them, but that is a Yamabuki koi. Beautiful. Like I said, it is check-in time. So everyone's just checking in their koi fish. And uh, I think I'm I'm up either next to the one after that. I gotta check all five of my fish in. And then tomorrow we compete. I'm a very competitive guy. Look at all those. Beautiful. Wow. Loading up our little show tanks, huh? Yep. I'm gonna make a good first impression.
So our second koi fish has been unbagged and it is another Yamabuki, but this is a Jinrin. So it's got the those shiny scales on the top. It's different from the, the other one that I showed you. Got those shiny scales and then that one right there does not. Oh, they're giving us the perfect swim by right now. Jinrin, the glisten on it, not Jinrin. But two Yamabuki, we have three other kois inside these bags for your surprise here in a second. Holy smokes. That's incredible. I love how they're so slow. They're all still waking up. Yeah. Buckets and buckets full over here. And like we had mentioned, all these ones we're putting in over here. These are all just to show the pure beauty of these fish. All these butterflies. Aquamate is out here representing Israel, man. They got some koi fish that they just can't breed in Japan, you know? They just got stuff they can't, they can't, just can't do it in Japan. And they're out here to prove that. All right, now we're unpacking the butterfly koi, long fin koi. They're a breed, uh, we have our own breeder in Israel, specializing in those kind of fish. Closed facility fish, all year round, every size as you want, every shape and every color. As, as you can see, the mix is fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. And I think we're basically the only one who have butterfly koi here in the show. So it's gonna be something special. Unfortunately, they're not allowed to compete, but we can show them. So these fish right here behind me that are going in have been through quite the journey to get to where we are today. We are in California, but these fish were shipped from Israel all the way to Blue Ridge, which is in North Carolina. From North Carolina, they rested there for about a week, obviously to not put so much stress through the fish. And then from there, they were shipped here and they had to be picked up from the airport and driven two hours to this event. So these guys have been through it. They're obviously looking great. Everything looks amazing. And uh, we're excited for the show. And look at that, our third fish. Wow, dude. Jinrin Platinum right there. That is pretty. Three out of five. We got this one as the fourth fish. And there we go. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at the perfect dot in the head. I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that and I was like, that's the one. Love that one. That is beautiful. <laughs> they are so much prettier in person. Look at that Jinrin on them. Wow. Wow, number nine's taking W's, fellas. See that number? Remember it. Holy smokes. Are you guys entering a fish too? Couldn't have been more excited with that outcome. Obviously all the fish arrived healthy and safe, thank goodness. These are absolutely beautiful. Those are my five fish, fellas. You seen them here first. No one else knows that I even got these. And to make it even better, to make things even better, we're competing with them as we introduce them to the channel. You haven't seen them, and now you're gonna see them get competed with other koi fish against other koi. You just saw mine, now you can see here's a couple of the competitors. I don't know, you guys tell me. That's a pretty fish right there. That is an absolute toad. Holy smokes. It's a uh, Jinrin Ochiba. Yeah. Or Ochiba. Which is this one right here. Yeah. Jinrin uh, Ochiba right there. The brown one with the yeah. gray. In Japanese, Ochiba Shigura, it's dry leaves on water. And uh, that's how the pattern of the fish is supposed to look. And I think that Paul made the excellent choice by uh, taking this fish. It's got very nice pattern and the ginrin at the ton. The ginrin is the sprinkles on top. Yep. Goes wisely. Yes, sir. Yeah. These are actually some really, really, really good looking fish here. Uh, but there's different categories, so fingers crossed. We got some beautiful looking fish. I feel really good about it. And uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Once we're done checking in, we get on with the weekend and get this rolling. Under 50. Under 50. Woo, paparazzi. We're locked in, fellas. Everything's checked in. Tomorrow's the big day. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the ZNA Southern California chapters 48th annual Koi Show. Today is the day. It's officially time. Everyone's here walking around, checking out the koi. The Israeli koi are really throwing people for a turn. They're like, wow, this is awesome. These are beautiful fish. And it's not really a well-known thing, so it's cool to get, you know, this out there. Number nine is, uh, is gonna hopefully do well today. I'll show you guys a couple of the other uh, numbers here. This is number number four. Some pretty fish back there. There's some monstrous koi fish here. Like I'm talking 20, 30 year old fish here. Oh my goodness. I mean, 
That is just crazy how big they are. I'm trying to get a hand comparison size like Sheesh, 34's got some monsters. Each and every number over here has some of the larger koi fish, and these they're obviously a different category when it comes to competing. I'm like under 50, I think. Those are all well over 50. Look at the girth. Oh my goodness, he almost takes the whole tub up. As I was doing routes, it looks like the judges have stopped at certain numbers already, and they're starting to get things rolling on judging. It's happening. It's officially gotten started. Now they also have vendors here, so a bunch of people kind of got tents and they could sell their own koi fish out of these tents. And there's a lot of koi fish. As you can see right here, there we go. And it's pretty much like any other convention, you know, but this is like strictly koi. I mean, just full of koi. Koi food, koi ponds, koi obviously fish, and a lot more. Check this pond out. Look at this pond. Let's see. It's a lot cheaper than what I've been building, that's for dang sure. They even got plants. They got plants too. But out of all the vendors, Aquamade got three booths. Shwabam. Maybe one day we'll go to Israel and visit that. That is literally their koi facility. And that's one of, what, 25? One of 25 of their uh, properties, which is crazy. They do like Molly's platies and all that kind of stuff. So that would probably be a really cool trip. So my name is Iftah. I'm the CEO of Aquamade, which is actually representing 25 different ornamental fish farms in Israel. Actually, we are by far uh, the largest uh, koi and goldfish supplier to Europe. And now we are entering to the US market. Uh, we have several partners here in the US, both for the uh, hobbyist and high quality koi, as well as the retail market as well. It is 3.51 right now. T minus two hours and 40 minutes until they announce the winners for all the different categories. Right now in the back behind me, they're discussing the uh, grand champion, like the number one of the whole entire show. And I have a a good feeling on which koi I think it is. Then again, who knows? That to me, at least just to me, and I'm no koi expert, that's for dang sure. Tuncho is what this is called. It's just a beautiful fish, and the reason why, I mean, I and most people in the hobby do like these, and why they're sought after is because it represents the Japanese flag. It's that all white with the red circle on the head, and this one, the red doesn't literally leave the top of its head. It doesn't even touch the eyeballs, barely. Oh, we'll see though, we got a couple hours, and then I'll pick up the camera. All right, fellas, it's about two hours since the event closed down, and it's time to do the awards now. There's a lot of them on the stage. We're taking a dub. I just feel it in my blood. What do you think? I think we've got something. Pretty sure. We've got, you've got pretty good fish, I think. I think you've got it. I'm Alan Stein, your humble president, and occasional fish whisperer, but not too often, for this distinguished occasion. Next is the... That's me. Board. And that's from me. Uh, as the head judge, it's my, it's my honor uh, to be able to pick out a fish that I feel that Yo. there is a... Uh, you got the, the judges picked that dub. Oh. Uh, something that's not always seen, but something that I really like. Um, and so this, this year, for this, this show, I picked out this very nice uh, Ginrim uh, Ocho, and uh, if you look at if you look at the brown versus the gray, the brown going down the back tells you which direction you should be looking. Paul Caffero, come on up, Paul. Oh, yeah. I just want to give a big shout out to Next Day Koi, of course Blue Ridge Koi, Aquamade for just having me out. It's a great time. It's my first Koi competition I've ever been a part of. I've never even been to anything Koi related. It's a, it's a great time and I'm excited to have these fish. Pleasure to be here, honestly. I thank everyone and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> a holy fish from the holy land. We say that we have Koi in the shadow of the capital is our, one of our slogans. So I'm happy to present this to this beautiful Gibran Ochoa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, it's Woo. heavy. <laughs> Thank Pleasure. you. Thank Pleasure. you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still love you for the water. Huh? <laughs> nice Thank job. you. Nice Appreciate job. it. Beautiful face. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, that's a trophy right there. Put it on the shelf. Oh, yeah, man. Yes, sir. We got the dang coolest trophy in the books. I mean, I'm, Let's go. I'm Let's excited. Go. I'm excited. Let's go. Holy fish from the holy lamp. Let's go. Holy the holy lamp, baby. <laughs> What's crazy is that was one of now that I got this paper, six awards that we won. This one here is green. But to win that is crazy, like that all the judges agreed upon that being the number one pick, which is just that's an Israel koi right there. 
They hit different over there. Holy Koi from the Holy Land. Exactly. It's a brand, it's a brand name now, Holy Koi from the Holy Land. <laughs> a lot. I'm a little shaky. Was Grand Champion A that, that gets the scroll. So I'm very happy to present to you pen number 375. Well, that lighting is just absolutely fantastic. An absolutely incredible time. I've got a flight to catch. I literally have to be at the airport in an hour. I'm in LA. That's hard to do. We won this beautiful award right here for the number one pick overall from the judges, which is huge. That's 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 massive. That beautiful Jinrin Ochiba took the W. It is, it is a stunning looking fish, I'll give it that. We hope to see more of these koi fish on the channel in just a little bit once I finish my front koi pond. We're gonna get some really, really koi stuff. I said koi stuff. Really, really cool stuff once that koi pond in the front yard is done, but got an award. That's huge news. Big shout out to Blue Ridge Koi, Next Day Koi, and Aquamade for making this all happen. They've got some beautiful fish year round you can purchase it all through Next Day Koi. And I have a 10% discount code that is down below in the description. Next Day Koi is called Next Day Koi for a reason. You pick a fish, goldfish, koi fish, whatever it may be, and it literally arrives to your doorstep the next day. It's like Amazon Prime. And if you don't want it the next day, you can schedule it for a further date. Big shout out to Aquamade, Blue Ridge Koi, and Next Day Koi. Love all three of you so much. First koi competition, down. That was awesome. I've, uh, I've got to catch a flight. Peace.